You probably don't realize how much important habits are in your day-to-day -day life, and when striving to become a better programmer, habits can show to be incredibly important and can make the difference between an average programmer and a high-value programmer who works high-paying jobs in big corporations. So I'm not going to waste your time. Here are four habits you must follow to become a high-level programmer. To become a high-level developer, it's imperative to prioritize core programming languages such as Python, JavaScript, Java, and C++. You must dive deeply into these languages gaining a deep understanding of their syntax and best practices. You should also commit to consistent practice and a relentless pursuit of knowledge. Through persistent effort, you'll gradually build a diverse and robust skill set, which is essential to becoming a developer of higher value. Your deep understanding of these languages, coupled with ongoing learning, will enable you to beat your competition in the dynamic and competitive world of coding. Version control is crucial in larger projects. If you are working as a team, every person is going to add their own work to the code, which can make the workflow a lot messier. As a high-value programmer, you gotta strive to work with larger companies and huge projects, which means you gotta master Git and GitHub for version control. You also gotta know the best practices for using Git to make working with others easier. For example, what you're gonna write on the commit, etc. You also gotta understand branching, merging, and pulling requests. Soft skills matter. As a high-value developer, your value doesn't end on your programming skills alone. It also shows on your your communication skills, teamwork abilities, and problem-solving skills. You have to develop your ability to explain complex concepts, as it can be really helpful when working as a team of multiple people. Also make sure to practice empathy and collaboration, as the people you are working with could be going through hard times, and it's your job to cheer them up. As a developer, your programming skills will shine if you work on larger projects, and one way to do that is to contribute to open source. There are so many open source projects out there, like LibreOffice, Homebrew, Docker, Linux kernel, etc., which will help you gain experience, improve your coding skills, and network. It's also something you can add to your portfolio, which we will see in the next step. If you've been watching this video and actually enjoying it, consider interacting with the video in some way. It helps with the algorithm. Build a portfolio. Building a good portfolio is the greatest thing you can do for your programming career. Create a good-looking and high-quality website to showcase your projects, skills, and achievements, or just set up a good GitHub profile, and be sure to commit every couple of days to showcase that you're an active developer. Make it easy for potential employers to see your work. I personally make good looking and professional portfolios for freelancers, but I'll get back to that at the end of the video. Specialization can make you more valuable. Oftentimes, employees look for more specialized developers, since it shows a level of mastery at their craft. Find your niche within the technology industry and become an expert at it. Here's what you should do. For example, focus on web development. Master the main programming languages and frameworks for this niche. Contribute to open source projects and do personal projects to build your portfolio. Keep your GitHub updated and organized to show that you're an active developer. Create an amazing website with your portfolio, which will allow you to show your projects and achievements as a developer, but will tell the employer that you know what you're doing since the website he's visiting is really high quality. Now that you know the four habits to become a high value developer, you're gonna wanna know the only four programming languages you'll ever wanna learn, and you're just in luck because I uploaded that video last week. Go watch that next.